guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm gonna do some q a's about my weight loss surgery i'm gonna answer a few questions i'm gonna get to the video i'm gonna get to the questions because um i have it pulled up right here so the first question is do you have any scars i do have some scars i have some scars on my stomach um so the five incisions that they made, they cut five holes into my stomach to do the procedure. And then I'll speak about that in another video. But I do have five little scars on my stomach. Yes, I do got some scars. It says, do you ever overeat and what happens? Um, I had a few times where I overate and it was because I was on my, you know, that thing. And cravings kicked in. But you can control that. Everything is mental control yourself when you eat and um don't let it get to you like when you it's that time of the month don't let those cravings kick in don't let it take over um when you get emotional don't do it either because um i was an emotional eater that's why i couldn't like lose weight on my own i needed some help because i would eat when i get emotional when i get sad or you know so um what um what happens when you overeat your stomach hurts just like a regular person um that's not good for you because that's that means you can stretch your stomach out um the gastric sleeve surgery is less invasive and you can gain weight if you keep stretching your stomach out um it says what is your opinion when people say you're too young for surgery first of all mind your business um <laughs> no um i don't care because i had health issues from being overweight, I already had health issues. I had asthma, I had prediabetes. Um, there was a lot of stuff that I was going through and my weight had a toll on my activity every single day. So it's like, if I'm young, I need to do something for myself so I can keep living and be young, you know? So I don't care what they say. It says, what have your doctor said since the surgery? All right, so I had an appointment. Okay, the question is, I'm sorry. The question is, what have your doctor said to you since the surgery? My doctor told me that I should be losing more weight, and that's when I was getting discouraged, and I'll make another video about that. Um, that I should be drinking more water, being consistent on my pills, um, change my diet, eat less carbs, and more protein. And that when she sees me next month, she wants to see that I lost more weight than what I did this month. The next question is... Did your shoe size change? Yes, I did. My shoe size. Yo, if you see my sister's foot in the background, I'm sorry. <laughs> my shoe size did change. Um, It went like a size down. I guess because my feet is less swollen. But your feet does get smaller. It's crazy. It does get smaller. So everybody, I'm pretty sure everybody who has the, the weight loss surgery and experience the weight loss, your feet, the, your feet, um, your shoe size does change. It gets smaller. And your shoe starts to feel a little bit loose. Um, are you still dropping a lot of weight? I am not dropping a lot of weight. And the reason why is what my doctor said. I'm not having the proper diet and I'm not in the gym yet. So, your weight slows down once you stop doing what they keep telling you to do from the beginning. So, it's all up to you. And I learned that on my last appointment. Um, how do you feel about people who don't feel comfortable telling you sorry how do you feel about people who do not feel comfortable telling people that people did the surgery like how do you hold on let me get this real quick how do i feel about people who did the surgery and don't feel comfortable um if you don't want to tell people you don't you did the surgery that's on you i you see me now posting this video obviously you guys know i did the surgery i tell people i did the surgery because I did the surgery because of my health issues and because I'm young and there was a lot of complications and I was having back problems and all kinds of stuff. I speak for the people who are afraid to do the surgery, who want to change their life, who are obese, overweight, the same thing that I was and still currently am because I still need to lose a couple more pounds. Um, I speak for those who are interested and are too scared to do it. So... For those who don't tell people that they did a surgery, that's on you. I don't bash those kind of people. I don't say anything. I feel like you should be confident in the choice you made because you made it for yourself. But to each his own. And you know how to mind your business. But for people who don't tell people that did a surgery, that's on you. 
I feel like you shouldn't lie to people. But go ahead if you want to, like, keep that to yourself, you know? All right. So, the next question is, why are you so open with yours? I'm open with mine because of what I just said. Like, I want people to have somebody to come to, speak to, ask questions to about the surgery. And if they need some guidance, I have a lot of answers. Um, I'm very positive about this um, journey of mine having weight loss surgery. My mom did the weight loss surgery and she still looks great. I'm very open because I'm trying to be a good example to those who suffer from obesity or overweight or, um, you know, need somebody to go to and they don't have people to speak to at home or friends because they're being judged. Um, yeah, that's basically why I'm open about it. And I'm not ashamed of my choice. And I'm a very honest person. Okay. The next question is, um, did your mindset change? And if so, good or bad? My mindset did change and it changed for the better, for good, not for worse. It changed because I want to do more. I go outside more. I am... I'm always wanting to do more. So I have the energy to get up in the morning and do what I have to do. Go to work every single day. Not like before. I want to go back to school. I just feel like I could do so much in a day now that I'm not in pain. And I don't feel so bad about myself. And I don't have a low self-esteem. And love myself more. So it changed me for the better. Um, I just feel more happier overall. And I want to do much more and just love myself each and every day take care of myself and do for myself so i changed for the good the next question is loose skin do you, um do you have any is it extreme does it bother you all right so after losing 85 pounds my body did get loose i do have a little like loose skin on my stomach um does it bother me yes and no because i know i can change that naturally or through skin removal. So it doesn't really bother me. Well, my main concern is, is not losing the weight I need to lose by next year. So the loose skin, I do have some on my arm area and on my stomach area. And that's about it. It doesn't bother me because I don't think much of it. And um, my partner is very supportive. And accepts my whole journey. So I learned how to love myself and love myself throughout this journey. And the body changes and everything. You have to be mentally prepared for this surgery because this is the kind of stuff that will mess with you. One of the things out of many, which I will speak in another video as well, because you have to you have to be mentally prepared to do the surgery. That's one thing you need to understand is that if you don't have the mentality that there's a possibility that you're gonna have extra skin or your body's not your body's gonna change, you're not gonna be the same person, then you're not ready. You have to mentally prepare yourself for a lot. And that's what I did before um I did the surgery. I was ready for everything, you know. <laughs> Do you still have your old clothes? Yes, I do. I do have my old clothes because later on when I lose all the weight I want to lose, I want to do like a little try on where I put all my old clothes on and see how much weight I lost or like how much, you know, how I look in it or how loose it is and just understand how much weight I lost, you know? All right. So one, um, the, the next question is what, what is one potential reason someone can be denied by the insurance? Um, one reason can be your body mass index which is a bmi which you can check on google you put your height and your weight and it tells you if you're overweight or not and i think you gotta be over 21 the number or 25 i'm not too sure if you have insurance i've there's a long list of insurance that covers this um surgery and pays for it my insurance i have metro plus and it covered my whole surgery i didn't have to pay anything so that's one potential reason why they would deny you. You really have to just have a situation where you either like pre-diabetic or you're obese, you have asthma, stuff like that. Back pains, body pains. It could be this, like, you know, you have to tell them like, what's wrong with you? All right, so the last question is, what kind of vitamins do you take? I take a lot of vitamins. I don't know exactly what names, but it's for my iron and multivitamins basically. And it's like five of them. It's like a black pill, red pill, blue one and a green one different colors i don't know the name of them but for the surgery you have to take a lot of pills a lot of, a lot of vitamins especially in the beginning you take more and then it starts to slow down 
but you have to take pills for the rest of your life. You got to take them vitamins. You have to, because the procedure is like a crazy procedure where you lose so much vitamins and you have to gain all that back, like through those pills. And when you have a gastric sleeve surgery, your stomach, 75% of your stomach is already gone. And your intake is very small. So these pills help you with that intake because your body needs that. So something to be prepared for is using a lot of medicine, which is in pill form. The beginning is not in pill. It's still in pill form, but you got to crush it and you taste it more. That's the only annoying thing. But after three months, you take it through, like, you know, you swallow the pill and you have to keep taking that. Like, I, it's been like almost six and a half, seven months and I still take pills. And people uh, who I know took the surgery, after years later, they take the pills. My mom had the surgery four years ago. She still takes um, vitamins and all kinds of stuff. So the annoying thing about the surgery is you have to take pills for the rest of your life. And I'm taking a lot. I still do. And I still am going to continue. So this is the questions that I have. There'll probably be a part two of Q&A for this. So I hope to answer the questions that was being asked. I hope I gave you enough information and... That's literally it for the video today. It's the Q&A. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.